Did you know that your variable categories can actually have subcategories? Well, here's just the tip. And let's run through this quickly. Over here, we have some custom settings I have set up for variables. And under that, we can see we have an awesome setting, which is a Boolean. But under that, another subcategory with another awesome variable in it. So how do we do that? When you open up the blueprint, we can see that our settings are organized just like we see it because I've exposed them. And we'll look at how it's done. By default, when you type in a category, it will assign it to that category. So in this case, we've typed in settings. We're in the settings category. If you use the pipe symbol, which is the up and down symbol, normally above the enter key on most keyboards, you can go ahead and make a subcategory. And you can actually nest these even more. So in this case, if we see here, I have settings, then the up and down character, that's not an I, that's the pipe, and then more settings. Let me show you how I'm doing that. Let's do a new variable. We'll call this one even more awesome. We're going to go to our category over here and we'll type in settings. Then I'll hit the pipe key, type in more. Uh, we'll call this one secondary settings. We'll hit enter. Now we can see we have a secondary settings category. Let's expose it and compile. We'll look at our item and now we have settings, more settings, and secondary settings. One thing to keep in mind, if you use a space, it basically treats it as a different variable name. The pipe is a separator. So if we were to do settings, space, pipe, space, and then secondary settings, you'll notice it's now it's under its new category because this, even though you cannot see it, is actually settings space, where this one is settings without a space. And if we were to look at it, you'll see that they are two separate things here, settings and settings with a space. And that is it. That is just the tip.